In sustainable chemical engineering, we'll teach you about novel technology development, which delivers sustainable technologies, which, while delivering the products and services and fuels that we currently have, do not have such an environmental impact on the planet. We get to design or redesign existing processes, um, making them more efficient, reducing the size of the equipment, um, reducing the energy they consume, managing the waste that they produce, so in the end we can move towards a cleaner and safer world for everyone. This course produces um, people that not only understand chemical engineering but also understand how to use the knowledge and skills gained from chemical engineering in a responsible manner in a manner that uses the concept of sustainability to design systems and to design processes that are more sustainable. What I liked about this course is that we have seminars every week. We cover legislations, laws, management. So uh, we get to know new technologies around the world and learn from lectures every day. The course is a mixture of lectures, problem classes, problem-based learning, we give you the core sustainable chemical engineering information that you need and then build on that. We have elements of design, so you design your own sustainable processes. And every academic in the Department of Chemical Engineering is research active and delivers sustainable technologies. And this really helps the learning and teaching aspects of the MSc course. On top of that, you will do a research project where you get to choose any of the areas that we work in here in chemical engineering and do your research project in that area. You'll be working in a research lab, in big research teams, doing something truly novel and sustainable. My research project, I'm working on polylactic acid as a bio-based plastic, and I'm trying to chemically recycle it to get value added products. Instead of having a big chemical plant, you could have small equipment and you have lower footprint in terms of material use, energy use and resource use. So what I'm doing is coding and we are finding the most suitable locations for photovoltaic solar deployment in the UK. So taking that project, I get to combine not only chemical engineering, but also I have to think about legislation in the UK and also the social impact that, that deployment might have. My project now is about finding a new technology to use solar light to do a reaction. So we're using a photocatalyst that absorbs the solar light to make a product in the pharmaceutical industry. So we're combining between the green sector and the pharmaceutical industry. Graduates uh, from the MSc programme tend to go on two uh, different career paths. The first is a research career path where they use the MSc uh, research project as a springboard, so maybe go on and do a PhD uh, or work in an industrial research lab developing novel technologies, or they'll go into industry and use the sustainable uh, chemical engineering that they've learned and apply that to more traditional industries. I believe that sustainable chemical engineering and sustainability in general is a growing field. Now companies are developing sustainability teams basically in any country of the world. Sustainable chemical engineering is a really diverse subject. So you can go into any field. You can go into management, you can go into green sector, pharmaceutical, food industry, anything that you want. For me, I would like to combine between the green sector and the pharmaceutical sector so I can do something better for the world, hopefully. Ultimately, the next 20 or 30 years are absolutely key. We have to transition to a more sustainable future. And the only way we can really do that and still deliver the lifestyles that we all enjoy is through sustainable technology development. And at, that, at the heart of that really is sustainable chemical engineering.